everyone. Uh, first, uh, I'm sorry about this mask. Um, I'm not affiliated with Anonymous or anything. It's just that I don't feel like uh, showing my face, so please bear with me. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to fold five different types of petticoat. The first one is a, a normal tree hook petticoat uh, with no gauze or nothing. And the second one uh, is a tree hook petticoat but with uh, nothing. And the third petticoat is uh, a two hoops, uh, two hoops uh, petticoat or hoop skirt, if you like to call it, uh, with a netting. And the fourth one is a terrain petticoat. Uh, and the last one is a six hoop, uh, six hoop uh, petticoat. Yeah. Um, so uh, before I start, I'd like to clarify that the first, uh, the first four petticoat follow. Uh, Quite the same stack, uh, which is uh, it involves five uh, about five steps. Yes, five steps. You find the joint, and then uh, you will hold the hook together, and then twist, and then you hug, and then align. Uh, so for the first four petticoat, that's basically the steps that you uh, you need to go through, and uh, the last. Petticoat, which is the six hook petticoat, uh, it uses a slightly different technique. But I'll show you later. Hold on, one. Okay, uh, we just go straight to the first petticoat. Okay. So here I have with me a uh, hook uh, petticoat. This is the normal one. No, uh, okay. So, like I said just now, uh, there's the five steps thing. So, uh, this is the three hooks, right? Uh, there's no gauze or nothing. So, remember the, the five steps. First is uh, find the joint. Uh, you sure you'll find the joint. At the gap, you know, there's this gap. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not a native speaker, so I don't know how to find it, but yeah, this is the gap. So, this is the joint. So, usually, I will find this joint and line it together. Line it together and hold this part, and then I'll do the same on the opposite side. I'll just find the opposite side and hold it together. So what we'll do is, like I said, um, you will hold it firmly, and then you will twist to form a number eight. If you can see now, uh, when I twist, it will form a number eight. So from this, you will continue to hug one part of the petticoat of the loop. So you see, when you hug, uh, make sure that. They do, they do not cross uh, each other's way like this. So I twist and then I hug. Make sure that this does not intrude the other way. So count it. Make sure that three hooks here does not interfere with the three hooks, three, 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 um, you know, uh, still over here. So then you align them together. Okay. Line them together and there you go. You have a uh, quite nice uh nicely folded three hook pedicure. Alright, that's the first one. Uh okay now. Moving on to the second type of petticoat. Um, okay. This year I have with me a three hook petticoat with nothing. You see, there are two layers of nothing here. Uh, so you have this. Three hook petticoat with nothing. How to fold it is you first uh, upturn it, and then you 
inside out. Uh, really inside out, but yeah. Upside down, yes. Upside down. And then like uh, this first part before, before uh, you will find the joint. Here. And line it together. One, two, three, all right. We'll just do the same, the opposite. One, two, three. Okay, there. Um, and then, just like before, just uh, hold it and then stretch a bit. And then you twist to form a number eight and then hug. Using your elbow to help you in aligning and flipping the loops to each other. So there you go. Uh, it's nicely folded. Uh, you only have to deal with uh, folding with the netting, which you can just do it the normal way. There you go. It's folded. This is uh, how you would uh, fold a tree hook petticoat with nothing. So you just find the. You can then you can of course transfer it into your plastic wrapping or a box and store it away. Okay. Moving on to the third. Uh, the, the third type of uh, petticoat here. Right. Okay, here I have a me a two hoops uh, petticoat with nothing here. So just like the petticoat before, you turn it upside down. Right? And then you find the joint again. Uh, where's the joint? Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, I have, if I have clarified this before, but the joint is where the, uh, the two ends of the steel meet together over here. Right. Uh, so that's where you got it. Right, so one and two. And find the opposite, pull it, again, uh, you hold, hold it from me, uh, make it equal parts, and stretch a bit, stretch a bit, and then you twist it to a number eight, number eight, and then hug, up and align, make sure the you will not get into each other. Align it parallelly, and then there you go. It folded into a smaller loop. So, uh, as usual, uh, the nothing you just fold it however you want. And how we work for the curve. And then stop it. Away. And then you can just lean for it inside your plastic button. Uh, I hope you got it that. That was the that was how you fold a two hook petticoat with nothing. Okay, and moving on to the fourth side of petticoat, uh, which is a train petticoat. You know, the kind of train 
a real kind of petticoat that you would uh, usually wear with or wedding gown or wedding gown with a train. I hope you can see the shape of this petticoat, but well, it has this. Yeah, you have this longer end over here. Um, so how to fold it? Then you turn it upside down. With the longer end, this longer end will be facing you. Like that. And the shorter end will be near uh, your body. So, just grab the side part of the petticoat. Uh, I mean, this, uh, this up will be smaller than this up. You see? I'm taking a smaller up over here. So it's easier to control when you want to fold it. Okay, again, for this train petticoat, fold it, and then stretch a bit, and then make it number eight, and then hug, and then flip. Try to flip the other side. Yes, like that. And you can, once you've done that, you can, um, no, align the align the loop so it will be actually it will have to fold to confirm with each other. Okay, there. There you go. So the rest of the nothing can just stop it. a six hole petticoat. There you have it, a very big one. This is a six hole petticoat. Uh, to fold it, it had uh, we use a different, a quite different technique from the from the first four petticoat to just show. So you do this thing. Uh, will also requires about five or four steps. Uh, first, you will find the joint, and then you will fold it together, the six, the six steel, and then um, you will uh, stretch it a bit, and then you will flip, you will flip like that, and uh, you will use your thumb, uh, your 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 um, I'm sorry left left hand thumb to hold uh, the already formed loop and then you will uh, the last loop you will flip it inside the already formed loop okay so we just define the joint 
Opposite. You know, I take a smaller area over here to hold. Like I said, a smaller area is easier to control. So uh, what we do, we flip, uh, like I said, we stretch a bit and then we flip like that. You see, it will form a... Make sure you hold six still in your uh, left hand and stick still in your right hand and so we will use this thumb thumb on my left hand left hand to hold this part here and so you see there is a loop forming here you just flip it and there you go you have you will have a folded six hook pedicle hook so all you need is to align them so it will have equal length of load. You see because this is uh, this has a, a lot more steel and it is bigger you will need an extra strength to hold it. You need to be careful or it become uncontrollable and it will start to it will start to unfurl. So there you go. And then you can just pop it inside your plastic wrapping or whatever you have, whatever your pencil comes in. different types of um, pedicles. I hope uh, there was uh, a clear step-by-step -step instruction for you. I'm sorry if, if it's a bit uh, unorganized. But, yeah. That was it. Uh, have a nice day and I hope that was helpful. <laughs>